Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready for my busy day today because it's gonna be a mix of a bunch of things. We're making product, I'm fulfilling orders, I'm trying to stay on track. <laughs> Hopefully clear the board by the end of this uh, video, but we'll see. I'm being very ambitious today, but I think I'll get it done. Choosing optimism, remember. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is make some sugar scrubs. I've been talking with you guys about whether or not I should invest in a large mixer. I think I will definitely do that sometime in 2024. Um, not anytime soon, because we looked at some of the prices of these things and a lot <laughs> so I don't know if we're quite there yet price wise but as the company continues to make money hopefully we can take a percentage of that revenue put it into an equipment fund so that when we do invest in that equipment it's not gonna interfere with the income that I take from my revenue as well as well as supplying ourselves with the materials that we need and the other thing other things that we need all the other expenses that it takes to run a small soap business. So with that being said, let me get right down to business. The first thing on my to-do is to whip up a batch of scrubs, so let's do that. So while those ingredients for the sugar scrub are melting, I'm gonna continue working on these golden bubble packages. And the part that takes the longest is writing out my thank you card to these patrons. I'm so incredibly grateful to them. So it's, it's worth it for me to spend a little bit of time to give it that personal touch, to let them know that they're appreciated because it honestly is such a big deal to me that people wanna see me succeed so much and that they enjoy my product so much that they support me in this way. Super thankful. First batch dedicated to one cent and that's going to be Wild Blackberry. Cascadia had a good run and it was super popular but Wildberry is quickly becoming my number one scent in scrubs and creams. <laughs> I got a question the other day about how I decide, sorry, blocking my face there, but I got a question the other day asking how I decide my core scents and my answer to that was pretty simple. The way I decide what my core sense will be has been the product of six years <laughs> of trying different things and seeing what sells. So it's not a, a great answer, but it's honestly how I've conducted my business is trying different things, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. And I understand people don't really want to experience failure. They don't really want to go through that, but it's not as bad as, as you guys think it is. Trying different things and having it not work out teaches you so many lessons and it gets you closer and closer to the type of customer that you want to get. It refines your business, it helps your business. That learning part of running a business, there's no better way than to actually experience it. Core sense depends on the type of company you are, the type of branding. It can vary across the board. So you have to ask yourself what kind of company and brand you want to run. Try a few scents, and if they work, great. And if one doesn't sell that well, then pull it and try something else. Or lean into the, the few that do work. There are so many different fragrance oils available in literally any kind of fragrance blend that you want. And that's why I encourage people to try things out on their own to see what works for them, because there could be an amazing scent out there that no one else is using that you can discover. And once you start using it, it's a scent that's that everyone thinks of you when they smell it. And Wild Blackberry is a blend of a few fragrance oils that I've chosen, but there is blackberry in there, there's different berries mixed in there, strawberries. I've always had a berry product on my line because they've always done well, so that's a good place to start. I think planning the scents and thinking of their names is a really fun part of, of having a soap business. To switch topics a little bit, someone in my comments also said that in regards to my sugar scrub stocking problem, I may have an efficiency problem when it comes to making them. So making a batch like this and splitting it up into two scents might help me stock up on certain scents, but it might ultimately be more work than just doing one scent per batch and making 10 jars of that um, type of scent. So that's what I'm doing here. That's what I'm trying out. And I could already see that that person is right. <laughs> 
it's way faster and easier to make one scent per batch instead of splitting a batch and, and mixing it using a hand mixer. So thank you for that suggestion. And doing it this way will allow me to build up my stock so that I'm not constantly having to make sugar scrubs all the time. Okay, that's about half the batch. I could probably fit the whole batch in here, but piping sugar scrubs is a little tough on the hands. And this amount of sugar scrub in a piping bag is as big as I'll go for now, comfort-wise. And I'll position you guys better so you can see the magic, the scrub piping magic. To reduce waste and get every last bit of scrub, I use this guy, the scraping tool. So just spread apart the piping bag. You can get in between all of those crevices and you have the tool where all you do is just scrape. And you'll be surprised at how much scrub you'll get just by doing this. See how much scrub I got just from doing that? Now all I do is tap these down, make sure all of the jars are the same weight, and then we'll cap them and label them, and they're good to go. So I have my lotion going, and it's a smaller batch this time because I'm a little crunched for time. And while those are heating up and melting down, I'm gonna go and finish off the golden bubble packages. So all of the golden bubble packages have been completed. I bought all of their shipping labels. I'm going to print them along with these two orders that I need to complete as well. Before I print these labels out, I'm going to label these sugar scrubs that I just made. So here are the labels that I have for my sugar scrubs. And one thing I didn't even think about when I was splitting my batch into two sets is how much product can get lost in all of that moving around. If I just do one scent, then I get 11 jars. But if I split them up into two, it's like four and a little bit. So that doesn't make much sense. So to whoever suggested that, thank you so much. That makes way more sense than how I was doing it. And here is my gorgeous wild blackberry label looking so beautiful. For those who have been following since day one, and I know that there are people who have been that have been following me since I first started this YouTube channel. I see your comments. Do you guys remember how minimalistic and plain my branding was back when I first started? And I did it that way at the time because I thought that I liked that aesthetic. And it's a nice aesthetic, don't get me wrong. Like I can see why people do that. But the problem I had with that was that it just didn't stand out. And it was also really easily replicated. <laughs> And the longer that I'm in business, the more I'm seeing how important it is to stand out and to make a brand that's recognizable and unique to yourself so that when you see it, you're not instantly reminded of another brand. <laughs> I think that's the worst. That plain, simple branding was in direct conflict with the colors that I was using and the fun fragrance oils that I was using. And I've been in business now for six years and the majority of that time, I had that very minimal type of branding. So it's never too late to rebrand and try different styles. I think a lot of people are worried about letting go of what they've always done for fear of what people might think or how their customers might perceive them. But coming from someone who has made many changes to her business over the six years that I've been selling things, customers are much more forgiving than you would think. There are periods where I've stuck with a design for literally a few months. And for those thinking that it's not really a good way to run a business, you're completely correct, it's not. But the way I saw it was I was still a really small company and that was a time to be making those quick changes, those frequent changes as I was testing the waters and seeing how people reacted to it in a generally small pool of customers. And that's another reason why I'm a fan of slow growth because if there's going to be mistakes made 
now is the time to do it. If you're trying to figure out your processes, now is the time to do it. The time to do it is not when you have countless orders on the board and you have a lot of staff. I'm hoping by the time I get to that point, I'll have everything locked down so that when I do start to hire staff, I can run a really good ship. So the water has been heated to the optimal temperature. What I'm gonna do now is top off the water that's that has evaporated to get it back to where it was. Now we're gonna combine our water and oils and emulsifier. So for my emulsifier, I'm using Paula Wax. So we're gonna be pouring our oils into this water and then mixing it with my hand blender. Okay, it looks like we need our oils to cool down just a little bit. So you really want your oil and water phase to be as close as possible to each other in temperature within 10 degrees. If you don't get that right, then your emulsifier might fail on you, your lotions might separate, and that's no fun because once a lotion separates, there's really no saving it. <laughs> All right, they are within 10 degrees of one another. So I'm gonna pour my oils into my water. So I mix my lotion up for about seven to eight minutes. What I'm gonna do now is just let it cool down so that I can add my preservative and other goodies. And what I'm gonna do with this batch, this is gonna be split into two. Half is gonna be wild blackberry and the other half is going to be Cascadia. So my lotion has settled and it's cooled down and reached room temperature, which means we are ready to pipe this lotion into my jars. I managed to get my lip balms up <laughs> and we got an order for them. So that is exciting. Now the next big product that everyone has been dying for, everyone's been asking me for are my shampoo bars. And don't worry, that is coming too. I love my shampoo bars, so I, I get why people miss them. So hopefully in 2024, I'm guessing. Once I get caught up in restocking my other items, then I'm pretty sure I can work on getting shampoo bars up there and candles. Kale has been asking me <clears throat> if he can start making candles again. We're testing out fragrance blends, we're testing out waxes, we're, text we're testing out wicks, which we're not doing on camera because it's kind of tedious, but that is all coming together as well. to the end of my incredibly busy day a bit of a catch-up day i'm really really relieved that those two scents in the sugar scrub and the body cream have been replenished and hopefully moving forward i can continue to restock and fingers crossed by 2024 those inventory baker's racks will be full of product i'm manifesting it into the world <laughs> if any of my products looked intriguing to you and you want to try them out there is a link to my website down below but if you want to make them yourself you can also do that the recipe is on my patreon which is linked down below as well and speaking of my patreon thank you to my patrons you guys are just so wonderfully appreciated especially my bubble bffs their names are right over here thank you to everyone who chooses to support me on patreon you guys are just the absolute best and also to everyone who has been watching every single vlogmas upload you guys are super super appreciated as well and your comments just make me smile you guys are so so loved <laughs> by me but that is it i am planning on doing a soap tomorrow 
possibly in the slab mold. I gotta do it. Time has come. So catch that on tomorrow's vlog, but until then, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.